Okay, so to add text in Premiere Pro, all you need to do is simply get yourself the video and import this into the timeline. To get yourself some text, you can go down to the text tool or you can press T on your keyboard. That'll do the same thing. All you need to do is left click on the screen, drag this out, get yourself a text box and type in anything that you want. So I'm just gonna call this Lambo. Let's say that yours didn't fully fit on the screen. You can correct this by going to the first tool and then you can expand or shrink the text box. We can hold control or command and this will allow us to move the anchor point anywhere on this text right here. So if we drag this into the center, it will give us the guidelines and we can now snap this onto the center. And from here, what we can do is we can also hold control or command, left click on the text while holding it and we can center align this text. Get yourself the text tool again. We're going to double left click on here or you can press control or command and A to select it all. If you open this up, you can browse through all the different types of text. If you can't see your text and yours is hidden, you can always go back to here and just expand this a little bit more to be able to see it. However, at the moment it is way too large and we can edit this by simply dragging the slider down and making sure that it's a lot more smaller. Underneath the font, you will have other useful features such as the font style. If you wanted to change it to something like, let's say bold, italic, or any other supported styles by the font. You also have the text characteristics underneath this, which will allow you to do things like align this to the center horizontally, align it to the center vertically, and you can change things like the spacing in between the letters if you want it to be more spaced out or closer together. Scrolling further down, we have the appearance. The appearance will allow you to change the fill, stroke, background, and shadow. If you want to change the color of the text, you would left click on here, change it to any other color that you want. So I'm gonna go with a nice baby blue, press okay. And you can also get yourself other things such as a stroke, which will make it stand out. It'll give it a outline. We could change the color of the outline to let's say a darker blue, and this will match the text. If yours is too thin, you can change the thickness by moving the slider over to the right to increase it or decrease it. You have things like background, which background will allow you to have yourself a background if you wanted to. You could change the color, and you have other options such as the opacity, expansion, and roundness. However, we're not going to use this, so I'm going to untick this and we're going to use the shadows instead. With the shadows, same as last time, you can left click on here, get yourself any color that you want. So I'm gonna go with a black color and you could change the opacity. You have the angle, distance, you have the thickness, and also the softness. Opacity is another important one because let's say you wanted this text to fade in rather than just randomly appear. You can left click on the stopwatch to get yourself a key point or keyframe. You can then drag this out and then type in zero in the box and this will then allow you to create a ramp which will make it go from zero all the way up to 100. However, the linear one is pretty basic and there's a much better way by left clicking on here, dragging this out, and if you right click on the keyframe, you can set it to ease in. And this one is a lot more smoother when it comes to appearing on the screen. And then finally, the very last option is the blend mode. Now this one is my favorite because you can always play around with this and you can get yourself any different type of effect. Now, another thing about the text is you can edit this layer as normal, so you can expand this for as long as you want. And that is pretty much it. If you would like to see more video editing and Premiere Pro tutorials, click on the screen to watch the next one. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.